Okay. Uh, it usually just picks up my audio. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do, guys. Vertically opposite CC and uh, so I'm starting off with question two, right? So CC and 110, they're, they're vertically opposite. So we say C equals 110. Now, what about the two of these added together? 2B plus 110 is 180. This means that 2B must be responsible for how much? 70. Because you're going to get 180 and you're going to take away the 110 and you're going to get 70. And then B will equal 70 divided by 2? 35, right? Happy days. That's your 35 right there. Okay? Now, uh, next thing after that is uh, the, the part 4. Now, if you look at part 4, Take it up here, sorry guys. Uh, it's called a screenshot. It just makes the appearance, of, uh, makes the sound of it photographical. It's not doing much. All right. So here's what we're doing next, guys. That's 90, isn't it? That means 3C equals 90. And then C will equal 30. Okay. Now, and we already know that B has to be 90. Why? The same line, so it has to be 180. Okay. Is that right with you guys? Okay. Let's move on to question uh, three. Okay. These ones here. Now, uh, the letters I asked you guys to learn off yesterday was Zs. And what does Zs mean? Alternate. Xs. Predly opposite. Uh, Fs corresponding angles and finally your c's or your your interior angles out to 180 okay so here's what we're going to do let's uh let's try and find a z now sort of uh all right i'll use a bit of color right color is easy uh i would say that this one is the same as this one Are we good to that okay I would also say that this blue one here is the same as number one. But it's also the same as what? Yeah, see the backwards Z. See the way it's like a Z? Uh, here, you probably don't see that to be fair. Just, uh, like, like this. See where I'm drawing the red? See the way it's like a distorted Z? And it, and it does the two blue corners? That's, that's what I see, okay? So what do you think one is? Yeah, 145, exactly. And then uh, what you think uh, 2 is? Huh? 35, because it has to add up to 180. Now, you will get the reasons. It does say show all your work, all right? So then what you say? Angle 1 equals 145. There is. You would say, what's the reason? Uh, it's actually corresponding as well, isn't it? Do you remember the F? Do you remember F? Uh, once we turn that F upside down, see the two light blue angles? If you were to grab that and turn it around, you'd see the F, wouldn't you? Okay. All right, all right, gents. So they're the same. Okay. Now, let's keep going. Uh, anybody for this one? Okay, so it looks difficult. All righty. Uh, I'm looking for a Z. Anybody see a Z? Where? Yeah, I'd say that's 32, wouldn't you? Okay. And then it has to add to give me 180. So what does that mean? And what, why is 1 148? If you were asked to give a reason in the exam, why is 1 148? The two angles have to add up to 180 degrees. It's a straight angle. Okay. And what about the number 2? Because it's fairly opposite. 1. Right. Has anybody got them all right so far? Like, as in you're in business or just the one, two people, maybe? All right. All right, guys, next one. Anybody see any corresponding angles, which is uh, an F, is what I'm looking for here? So, you guys always have the luxury of, uh, you guys always have the luxury of grabbing your copy and tilting it. All right, 
and when you tilt it, you can see quite you can you can see the F quite clearly, can't you? So that'll be 73 reason why. Corresponding, and then the number two. 107, yeah, no worries. Because it has to add to 100 amps. Okay. We all good? Okay, let's keep going. All right. Will I will I skip down to five at this stage or I think we're all right here. Okay. Sorry, I mean four. So I've done two, three. Now this looks like a step up, doesn't it? It's quite messy. I think that's actually arguably harder than anything you get in your leaving search. Okay. Investigate if each of the following pairs of lines are parallel. Explain your answer in each case. And uh, let's see. What does it want? M and uh, M and N. Okay. Ooh. Uh, so look at this, guys. Can anybody tell me what angle this is? So can anybody tell me what angle this is here? Why is it 98? Has to add to 180. And now all of a sudden it has the same angle as the other one, which means they're definitely going to be parallel because they're making the same angle of the same line. See the blue line? They're cutting the same angle of the same line. That means they've got to be parallel. Does everybody understand that? When you cut the same angle off the same line, you're parallel. Okay. Uh, I think the other, the other one, the other one, uh, Think L and P are also parallel. Where are P and L both parallel? And the 115 is on the same side, isn't it? It's on the left side both times, isn't it? And if you understand, yellow is right side, blue is left side. So it means if it, it, it was on the opposite side, would it be the same? No, it'd be tilting in, wouldn't it? Okay. Is that all that question is? Oh, R and Q. What is the location of R and Q, lads? Oh, R and Q are the... Uh... Oh, that's awkward. Right, so R and Q are these two here. See the two blue lines? They're R and Q. Now, because it doesn't specify they're parallel, am I allowed... Am I allowed to use, uh, like, am I allowed to say this angle here is 82? Why not? Doesn't state they're parallel, so I'm not allowed to say that's 82. Okay, I have to figure out all this stuff myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down as many numbers as humanly possible. I'm hoping to figure out what's going on here. Okay, currently I have no idea how to do this question. That's maths though. You figure it out. Okay, 66. Are we okay with that? Why? Perfectly opposite. What about this one up here? Take it away from 180. 114. 114. Okay, I think I'm thinking I'm getting there. Uh what about this? Did we already said that's 98, didn't we? Okay. And what about this angle here? 115 and it has to be 180. 65. Okay. Now I'm gonna take out the calculator. I'm not in the humor of uh, doing that in my head. So I'm gonna take away 360, take away 114. Take away 65, take away 98, and we're on 83, are we? Now, what does that tell me? Remember I said you can't say the two of them are alternate earlier? 83 and 82. If they were parallel, what would they both be? Exactly the same. So because the, those angles aren't, because the alternate angles aren't equal, it means those lines aren't parallel. Did anybody get that one out? That's fair enough. It's difficult. It was difficult. Okay. All right. As I said, if you don't get it, you can always refresh it later on. It will go up online later on. Okay. Now, uh, which one did I do yesterday? I did this yesterday, didn't I? Who wants to see it again? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go for the C. Uh, stop using those big blue lines to be handy, okay? So, uh, does everybody see this here? Yeah? What did I say about that type of shape earlier? Anybody tell me? Yeah, 
And what happens if I spin it around? It's still the same thing, isn't it? So what I'm saying is that this blue angle, which is a Q, plus this uh, yellow angle that's obtuse, two of them are always going to add to... Oh, trick here. Does my blue and my yellow currently add 180? Is it guaranteed? Why is it not guaranteed? Thank you. It doesn't state that the lines are parallel. So to do my diagram properly, I'd have to put the two lines in. Is there lines... Is it state that these are parallel in the question? Yeah. So happy days. So A will have to be what then? 150. Okay. Now, this will be 30. Why is that 30? Alternate or it adds to 180. Okay. And then what about this other side then? 30. 30. This will have to be 1. Why? The blue and the yellow angle again, isn't it? You could also use corresponding. Does anybody see an F you could use? I'm looking at this F here. Sorry, I should probably make that diagram bigger. See the F I'm using? You could use that as well. You have so many choices. And then a full circle to 360. Sorry, 360 take away 150. <laughs> uh, 210. Because that's after 360. Is that cool, you guys? All right. Just the last one I gave you last night. All right. No butter. Okay. That's 84. What is it, 84? Vertically. Opposite. Can anybody tell me this quadrilateral in the middle? Quadrilateral is a four-sided object. Okay, this four-sided object in the, in the middle. What type of four-sided object is it? It has to be a parallelogram. Can anybody tell me why? It says the lines are parallel. This yellow line is parallel to this yellow line. And this blue line is parallel to the other blue line. That's the prerequisite for a parallelogram. Okay? Shh. <laughs> Parallelogram is a lopsided uh, rectangle or square. Okay. So, gents, here's what we're looking at here, okay? Let's try this out. Okay. I would say that this is 84. Can anybody tell me why that's 84? Alternate. Backward Z, isn't it? Okay. Can anybody tell me what, what uh, the value D would be then? Has to add to 180. Huh? 6. Okay. That means that's 96. Okay. Now, the trick is with parallelograms is that in a parallelogram, the, angle, uh, the angles that are opposite each other are always the, uh, the same size. So, example is here's a bog standard parallelogram. And what I'm basically saying to you guys is green equals green. Uh, blue equals blue. So using that logic, what can you say B is 84? And what can you say this one up here is? And then vertically opposite 96? Let's see. Cool. All right, guys, I've spoken enough now. I'm going to resume it. Now, gents, what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at, I think angle one is the same as angle two. Everybody see the F? Yes, you see the F that I'm talking about? Angle 1 equals angle 2. I would also say that 28 equals 4 for the same thing. If you have, if you have, any, if you have any line, all right, so any line, and if I draw two parallel lines coming out of it like this, those two angles are the same because they're parallel lines. So I would say that uh, angle 4, therefore, has to be, what do you think? 28. Okay. All good so far? Now, what about angle 3? Add the two of them together to get 180. So what do you think angle 3 is? What? 152. Excellent. Now we're at the home stretch. Get 300, any any four-sided object, all four angles added together give you 360 degrees. 
So you're just going to take out the calculator and you're going to get 360 degrees and you're going to take away all, all those sides. Okay, so minus 43, minus 28, and minus your two. Okay, is that right? We're expecting a large angle, aren't we? Obtuse angle. That is way too big, 152. What happened there? Oh, I didn't put in 152. 137. Sorry, somebody asked a question. I didn't mean to. I have a typo, so I changed it to 152. Okay. So 137. Is that okay with you guys? All right. Uh, has anybody got par four done yet? With yourself. If you're bored, move on to parts question six, okay? But uh, this one here, guys. All right. Uh, safe to say that's 81. Would you agree with that? Okay. What about this backward Z here? What does that make this one? Okay. Now, if that makes that one 81, what does it make the A over here? 99, because that has to add to give me 180. What does it make B? 99. What does it make C? Shh. 99. Uh, sorry. If you, yeah, if you see them in on it, if you see them in on it, it's a Z. And that's 99. And then this will have to be 81. You just zigzag. I'll make the pictures bigger. Sorry, that, that, that's not the clearest. Okay. Last one. There we go. The bigger the diagram, the, the clearer it appears in the test as well. All right. Is this a parallelogram? How do I know it's a parallelogram? The, not that has four sides, but two of them are parallel and the other two are parallel to each other. So that means parallelogram rules are, are, are live. So what does that make C? Okay. Add the two interior angles. So add the uh, blue one and the red one together and it has to equal 180. So what you get? 75. So it's okay. And then over here? 75. And then over here, 75 as well. Because it has to be 180, doesn't it? Question? To get 210, take it away from 360 and divide by 2? Yeah. All good. Any questions? All right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, anybody care to take this one on for me without me doing all the talking? Uh, I'll pause so it doesn't record you.